Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Trucker J here again. As you can see, my Longhorns hat. I have made it to uh, Texas. And uh, first thing I did when I, oh, dropped the phone. First thing I did when I got here, that's right, Big Red. That's why my tongue is all red. Uh. <laughs> so, um, made, uh, made it to Waco last night. My load uh, actually didn't officially uh, deliver until um, 11 o'clock today, but I was kind of anxious to get home, so I hauled ass legally uh, all the way over here. I uh, dropped off at Waco uh, last night. I got there uh, about 10 p.m., and uh, they let me through the gate um, to deliver it. I think the guys actually thought I was supposed to be there at 11 p.m. last night, not 11 in the afternoon today, but it's okay. So I got that uh, dropped off and everything. Um, drove uh, on my way uh, to the house, made it to Gerald before I ran out of time and I used my PC time uh, to even make it here. I'm about 20 minutes away from the house and I should be able to drive here in about another 30 minutes so I'll be able uh, to finally get home. Got there uh, last night. They had me go to one one dock and uh, sat there for about 20, 30 minutes. And then a uh, yard guy said, hey, they're really busy on this side. Follow me around to the back. So I left that uh, dock, went around to the back and backed up to that one. And I sat there for like another 30, 45 minutes. Like, you know, what what's going on here? Um, an hour went by and I'm sitting there looking at my clock going, okay, well, you know, kind of getting to be the point where I need to get out of here so I can make it, you know, uh, home in time. So I got tired of waiting. I look over to my right and they had uh, four of our trailers sitting there. Uh, so I got out I looked at them. All four of them are empty. And I'm like, well, why am I still sitting here when there's clearly four empty trailers there? Why can't I just drop this trailer, grab it empty and then get on my merry way? So called dispatch, I'm like, hey, uh, this is a situation. I've been sitting here, uh, you know, I got there at 1030 and at this point it was 11 o'clock, I think. No, I'm sorry, 12 o'clock. So I, I checked in at 1030. This is about midnight now and I'm still sitting there. So I'm like, hey, can I grab one of these empties? Can I drop this and take off? You know, because we had dropped and hooked here, you know, before. Uh, it's a Coca-Cola dealership, or not dealership, but a distributing uh, area. So she's like, well, you need to check with them because I think they charge us extra. So, you know, if you do that, get a name, call me back, yada, yada. So had to walk all the way around the building. It was a, actually a pretty long walk. Um, talked to the guy. I'm like, hey, man, I haven't been home in a few months. You know, I'm like an hour away. I've been sitting here since 1030. Is there any way that, you know, I could drop this trailer, hook up to an empty and take off? So he's like, uh, yeah, that's fine. You know, no big deal. So... I, uh, dis um, I, I walked back to the truck and I'm getting ready to disconnect and kind of ran into a problem. A little bit of a problem. So let me show you what my problem was. It might be loud and windy. It's a little bit rainy here. But oh, by the way, I met the Flying J. Flying J. This is like crazy spot to try to park. Oh, look, there's a Texas, ooh, Texas flag way over there. I just honked the horn at somebody. They're like, what? Uh, so let me show you what my problem was. This is my problem right here. So apparently, you see the glad hand uh, connector here. The hose snaps into it. So, however it happened, the hose had come out of the attachment. I got I got this piece in, the, in my truck right now, but and apparently it drugged for a little while. But it fell off after I noticed it, and so I kind of rubbed it a little bit. But I'm sitting there, uh, there in the yard, and they don't allow other people to come inside. So I. Uh, wasn't gonna sit there obviously um, because they wouldn't let anybody in there to uh, fix it so the truck stop was about 25 miles away you do have two airlines you have the blue service and then you have the red the emergency 
Now, with the red line still connected, you're able to move. It releases the brakes, you can go. Uh, you just have to be kind of careful with it, make sure that your air is still um, high enough to make sure that the brakes work. So, um, I didn't have any issues getting back. Um, I was really careful uh, with my braking uh, when I made it here back to the truck stop. So, I am waiting here for breakdown service to come and fix it. Once they fix it, then I can go ahead and uh, get home, which I really want to do. I love my bed. I want to sleep in my own bed, get out of this small little twin bed, and uh, things will be awesome. So I'm going to be here at home for a few days, going to hang out with mom for Mother's Day. My little brother's graduating uh, college up in Denton, uh, which is around the Dallas area. So we're going to head out there in the morning. Uh, grab a hotel room there for a couple days and uh, hang out with him so that'll be pretty good haven't seen him in a few months uh, so it's always nice to get home get out of this truck for a little while i don't really take too much home time it seems to be kind of difficult to get loads coming down here to texas for the company i mean we do do loads down here but they're just not as frequent as some of the other places that we travel so when i do take you know home time it's normally around the Nashville, Tennessee area or Atlanta. Uh, I have some friends that, that live in that area. And uh, my girlfriend, uh, like I said before, is a flight attendant and she's over there. And her home base is Atlanta. So it's easier for me to get there and hang out with her. Looks like the uh, repair guys here coming to save the day. Won't you be fantabulous? Actually, might keep the video wrong a little bit so we can uh, see how you, everything gets fixed. If you guys want to stick around for a few minutes. Oh, it just broke off the end. Yeah, it just it went off. But the problem is, though, is I didn't catch it, so it rubbed. Oh, just stay in here? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah, cool. I got a whole new thing. There's like five red trucks, though. <laughs> is there really? Well, yeah, there's one right on the other side of here. Oh, is there? There's like one there. I was like, I was like, I don't, I'm not going to sight him because I know he, I wouldn't get out and look around. <laughs> Fuck it, it's raining. Sorry, I know, right? No, uh, man, I should have you taking care of shit in 10 minutes. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I live like 20 miles away. I've been oh, trying yeah? to get home, and I ran out of time last night, so I came oh. here. And I was like, well, you know, I'm thinking it'd be easier for it to get repaired if I made it to a truck stop. So that's why I parked in here. I actually live down in Georgetown. Oh, yeah. Um, but, man, you can't hardly get a truck through there anywhere. It's real tight area. Oh, yeah. So. And then, then they don't like the parking anymore. No, exactly. Um, the uh, movie theater is actually really cool. They, they let me park my truck over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the uh, Georgetown yeah. Uh, movie theater. Uh, you know, they, they saw my truck with the veteran tag on, and they're like, oh, yeah, dude, you can park here anytime, <laughs> man. So... You know, it, it definitely helps out. Yeah, Walmart used to be good, but have too many people park there now. Yeah, they do. Well, and then that and the truckers were leaving, you know, their pee bottles and trash everywhere. So, I don't blame them. They For do it here. I mean, I, years ago, I used to work at Docs, which was down the street where the truck wash is. Yeah. And, I mean, my boss would literally put a can every 20, 30 feet out for trash and on Saturdays I would walk around and just pick up you still have jackasses trash. throwing their shit everywhere bottles, this and that. It, it's really bad it, it really is disgusting I found myself picking up stuff along the way the trash too as long as it doesn't look gnarly or a piss bottle I'll pick it up I'll yeah. throw it away not, it's not too bad here but on some of these other truck stops like if you get a light thing you can just smell the pee in the parking oh. lot oh man that's gross Oh, that's good. So he uh, just cut the end off. Oh, my phone is all watery. So he just cut the uh, end off. So he's just gonna um, push on another end piece to the end of the hose. The uh, glad, glad hand part of it actually uh, get me hooked up and then I'll be good to go. Uh, it's kind of raining. I don't want to stay out there in the rain. But 
Super friendly guy. Looks like he knows what he's doing. I said it should take about 10 minutes, so good deal, good deal. All right, guys, well, I won't keep you on the video any longer. Um, it's pretty simple. He's just going to push that piece right back in there, uh, clamp it down real good, so then I'll be good to go. I should have, uh, should be able to drive here. Actually, right now, I can drive. You can drive for eight hours. So, anyways, guys. All right, well, thanks a lot for uh, checking out my videos. As always, uh, thank you very much. If you haven't done so yet, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell, you'll get notified when I do new videos. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the videos, if you think it sucks. Anything to kind of get uh, some traffic on the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. So, uh, I'll try to do a couple of the videos while I'm here at home. Let you guys know uh, what's going on, uh, anything exciting. But uh, as always, guys, again, thank you very much for checking them out. Look out for yourself. Look out for one another. And until next video, Chuck J is out.